In the 94th appearance of the Lucas Oil American Sprint Car Series to the famed half mile of the Devil's Ball Speedway, our drivers salute to you. Their thank you for coming out to enjoy tonight's racing action on this second round of Speed Week. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to rise to your feet. It's time to make some noise because race fans, only the best go three abreast. And you have them tonight at the Devil's Ball with the Lucas Oil American Sprint Car Series. Side by side with Travis Rylett. We'll see if we get a clean start this time off of turn number four. They come to the chalk. They pick up the pace. A good looking start this time, and we're underway. Blake Hong going to take off the race lead as they're three wide in the middle of the pack. Wayne Johnson right in the middle in 2C. He was three wide with Jamie Ball, and I do believe the 74B of Jake Bruback. Everybody makes it through turns one and two, through turns three and four. Scott Baguski bobbles it through turns one and two. Hey, for team for the run to the back straightway, and he's going to take over the third spot. Baguski bicycle the car a little bit through turns one and two. Hey, for team there to capitalize. As Han will clear the 2X now, setting sights on the 79V of Kevin Ramey and the 92 as Blake Hahn just about takes it over once now twice over in turns one and two and he will give up the race lead to Travis Rylett. Blake Hahn took it in and that car got all kinds of almost upside down very lucky to bring it back up right it's Travis Rylett will lead on with a miraculous save as he should have gone over but somehow kept it upright as now stalking for that race lead Sam Haferteep Jr. looking to the inside line of Travis Rylett to the back straightway side by side battle for the race lead into turns three and four Rylett going to take it in just a little bit deeper now turns it down to the bottom of the racetrack as they'll come around this time lap number 18 in the books Rylett off of the bottom of the speedway, using Kevin Ramey as a pick on the outside. Hayfertit, hey though, with the run, has to slam on the brakes as they work into turns three and four. Just about make contact with Rylett's right rear. He's there again, Rylett with the bobble. Here comes Hayfertit. Sam Hayfertit Jr. all over. Travis Rylett looking for the top spot. Blake Hahn rolling to the inside of Sam Hayfertit Jr. The fight for second to the back straightway. Here comes Hahn, led until lap 15, bicycle the car over in turns one and two, dropped all the way back to fifth. He has fought his way back to second. He will set his sights on Travis Rylett. Takes it off the bottom a little bit, right up in front of the 15H of Travis Rylett. They will work it at turns three and four. This time to the white flag. One more time around the Devil's Bowl. The MDS boring and drilling number 29 has it. The 52 wanting to take it away. Hahn with the run to the back straightway. Does he have anything into turns three and four? He'll have to pull the trigger and pull it now as they work into turn three. Off of turn number four. Riley with the bobble. Here comes Hahn to the inside. At the line. It's too close to call. Ladies and gentlemen, at the line. The Cinderella story is complete. The formerly owned Laney Machine goes to victory lane. Ladies and gentlemen, Travis Rylett holds on to win at the Devil's Ball.